Hi everyone, welcome to another Courseplay tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Courseplay for an automated manure process. We'll be working on field number 28 on Sosnovka, and for today we'll be fertilizing with liquid manure and this setup here. So the first thing we want to do is jump into the tractor and open the Courseplay hot by clicking the right mouse button. Here we go. So for fertilizing, we want to be in the fertilize and seeding mode, which is this one here. And that opens up the course generation button up here. So if we click that, we're ready to set up our fertilizing course. So we want to be on field number 28, as you can see on the minimap here. So if we click this arrow here, until we reach number field number 28, here we go. And we can verify that it is field number 28 by clicking the eyeball here. And that will show us a blue line all around the field. Now let's click that away again. The working width of this machinery <coughs> pardon me, is 12 meters and Courseplay has already figured that out but we can verify it again by clicking this calculator here and we will have a red line indicating the width of the machinery. Um, I do like to have a little bit of overlap when I make these courses just in case the worker here gets confused and misses something. So if we put that down by clicking the minus button here to 11.5 meters and we can tell that it's gone into manual mode now. All right, so the starting corner for this course will be the furthest no most northern corner and the furthest most eastern corner. So we want to be on northeast for this one. Now remember we have north, east, south and west. So northeast is the corner that we want to start in which is this corner right here. And our direction, the starting direction that we're going to drive is west. So here we go. We want to return to the first point. This is because the manure spreader that we have um, on the back here doesn't have the capacity to fertilize this entire field in one go. So we need to set up a course for returning to the farm to have the manure spreader refilled. Because of that, we want the manure spreader to come back here to this point here when it's empty because we're going to set up the transport course from right here. So yes, we want it to return to the first point. We're not going to be using any headlands for this course because this field has a, uh, has enough space in both ends outside of the field for the tractor to go outside. However, we want the tractor to turn on the field when it has reached the end. We don't want it to turn on the outside because this setup here is too long and it will hit the trees. So if we go into the settings combi mode, we want to make sure that turn on field is activated. This setting is activated by default, so all you need to do is basically just make sure that it is still activated. All right, we are just about ready now, so let's set up this course here. If we click this button here, that's the generate field course, we can tell that the course is starting from there, and it's going in that direction. We can also see, if we spin around here, we can also see a stop sign, which means that it's going to return to this point once it's either empty or finished with the course. All right, so let's save this course, and we're going to save it as field 28, and we're going to call it manure, and we're going to call it 12 meters. Now, I'm not going to specify that this is liquid manure, because if I get another tool, for instance, a solid manure spreader that has a working width of 12 meters, I can use the same course. So all I'm going to say is that it is a manure course, and it is 12 meters, and it's on field 28. And we're going to press enter to save the course. So now we have the course, if we go into manage courses, which is the globe, we have the field 28 manure 12 meters here. Let's put that into the field 28 container. So now it should be in here. There we go. All right, so far so good. So the next thing we want to do is we want to tell Courseplay to head back to the farm to have the manure spreader refilled once it's empty. So we start up the tractor and we position ourselves so we're ready to record a course for heading back to the farm. And we are probably going to start the course from around here somewhere, I'm guessing there will be good. So we're going to start the recording. Now when you record these um, courses like this, it's actually important to have the first three waypoints in a relatively straight line. You don't want to make any sudden turns within the first three waypoints. So we have the first waypoint here, so we need two more. It's number two. 
And there we have number three, and we're ready to drive now. So we need to head back to the farm. Now we're driving on a map with AI traffic. And because of that, do make sure to record your course in the appropriate side of the road. In this case, it's on the right side of the road. Had this been a UK style map, it would have been on the left side of the road. And the same goes when you go on these country lanes here. Do make sure to stay on the side of the road so you can have several um, cosplay courses driving this road at the same time. And the tractors will be able to pass each other uh, without getting stuck in traffic. And here we go, we're just about back to the manure point, which is over there. So we're going to drive around the field here, so we don't need to reverse. And we don't need to drive into the field that has been planted. Here we go. And we're coming up to the liquid manure tank. And the cow seems to be having a, a time of their life here. Alright, so we reach the manure tank. Now to indicate for course player, to indicate to course player that this is where it needs to refill, we're going to set a wait point here. That triggers the tractor to wait here until the tool behind it, it is actually full. But we can keep on going now. We've got the wait point so we know it needs to refill here. And it's still recording. So all we need to do now is head back to the field and we should be ready to go. Again, make sure to stay on the appropriate side of the road. And you can tell by the tire marks over here that there's plenty of room for two tractors to pass each other on this lane now. So I can have several cosplay courses running at once. Also take into consideration that when you record a course like this, the tool behind you will be full when you drive this course here. So realistically it's not going to stop on a dime and you want to make sure to to take that into consideration all right let's stop the course here and we have the course set so if we save this one as field 28 once again field 28 and we're going to call it uh, liquid manure from farm there we go that should be enough information if I need to reuse the course. We click enter to save it. And we have it in here. So field 28, field 28, liquid manure from farm. We're going to put that into the field 28 container. All right, so in the field 28 container, we want to load the manure 12 meter course and we want to load the liquid manure from farm. And you can tell that the spreader now has two combined causes: the cause for fertilizing and the cause for refilling the fertilize for refilling the manure spreader. And we should be ready to go. So you want to make sure that you're in the fertilize and seeding mode, which is this button here, and you can drive away from the first waypoint. He's going to drive up to the first waypoint, and he's going to unfold the machinery. Now he doesn't have a lot of um, manure in the machinery, so he's going to run out pretty fast here. And we're just going to follow him along. And there we go. So he turns on the beacon and he's going to head back to fill up the manure spreader. Or is it a she, actually? I tend to only hire female workers. Actually, for once, we've got a male. So he should pick up the transport course when, once he reaches the edge of the field. There we go. And he's off.
Now we're fortunate enough for this one, uh, for this course here, not to have any traffic. If he had encountered traffic in front of him, he would have slowed down and adjusted his speed to the traffic in front of him. So, course play is clever enough to figure that one out. He's going to take the course around this field here <clears throat> and return to the fill point at the liquid manure tank. And the cow seems to be thriving and having a good time. So he's going to slow down. And there we go, he reached the wait point. And he's refilling the manure, uh, the fertilized spreader here, or the manure spreader. And he's just about full. There we go, and he's going to head back to the field now and continue fertilizing from where he left off. And he's back at the field, so he's going to stop the transport course and pick up the fertilized course. Head on back to where he ran out of fertilize, or where he ran out of manure. Unfold the machinery and continue from there. And here we go. Alright guys, that is how you set up course play for an automated manure process. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.